Hi folks, welcome back to Failure at Retirement. So I got this idea in my head uh, several weeks ago, uh, around Christmas, I guess, or a little before maybe, when the guy's reflecting one day. I got this idea to tell maybe a series of short stories about a guy's raven. Mostly stories about my dad. Uh, my dad was a good man but he had a far and wide reputation as being a cantankerous man. He actually kind of uh, loved himself a good fight or argument. And he had a terrible, terrible short temper, like probably one of the shorter tempers I've ever come across. And uh, there was many times he let his temper get the better of him. Like I said, he loved an argument. And he was really never wrong. I don't ever recall him ever admitting that he was wrong. Maybe one time, actually. But that's another story. So, anyway, on to this story. So, we were living on a ranch um, about a mile from here. Maybe not even quite that far, honestly. If, if my big melon and some other stuff weren't in the way, you could probably see it right out this window. So we're living over there. My dad's raising some hogs, a few cows, doing a little farming, doing some custom farming for other folks. Uh, this would be, oh, around 69 or so, 70 at the latest. I was right around four years old. So my folks with a young family, they'd done the right thing and they got a puppy. And I don't know just how long we had this puppy, but not very long. Like, I want to say maybe six months, eight months, something like that. And as puppies will do, this one had a habit of chewing stuff. And I guess this one was pretty good at it. So here we have another flying beast. <laughs> anyway, this puppy's pretty good at the chewing. And uh, he's kind of riding on my dad's nerves a little bit. So one day, my dad comes in for lunch. And on his way into the house, he finds something else that the puppy's chewed that he's going to have to replace. And he decides right then and there that him and this puppy are done. That uh, he doesn't need this puppy in his life anymore. So some garage words are exchanged. Some stuff was said that I was... I'm fairly certain was hurtful to the puppy's feelings. I'm sure that my dad took a swipe at the puppy with his boot and maybe whatever else he could get his hands on. So the puppy got the message and took off across the yard and took refuge under the silage chopper. The silage chopper, I believe, was maybe a year old, maybe not, somewhere in there. It was pretty near new. So my dad, he's going to he's going to fix this situation. So he goes in the house and gets his 22 rifle. And he comes out, he's going to solve the problem. So he flops down on his belly in the driveway, squares up on this puppy, eases back on the trigger. The only noise he got out of that besides the noise from the rifle was the psh as the air came out of the tire on the silage chopper. So puppy just fine. Silage chopper, not so much. So now my dad's really mad. But funny thing is, it occurred to me as I was thinking about telling the story, I wonder if the folks cleaned that up for me because of my tender age that uh, maybe my dad really did get the puppy. But then I realized, I only ever knew my dad to have the one rifle, 22 Winchester, and it was missing the tube magazine. I grew up shooting that thing, that's where I learned to shoot, but it was basically single shot. By the time my dad would have got another shot into it, the puppy would have been gone. The puppy figured out he wasn't wanted. He took off down the driveway. We never saw him again. So 
So anyway, this is a funny story that was told on my dad many times over the years. He never enjoyed the story. It's part of the reason it got told. Um, he was still angry at the puppy 30 years later. Um, every once in a while, if he's in the right mood, he could maybe smile a little bit, but you could tell he still was not happy about having to go to town by a tire. That was not in his budget, I can assure you of that. So anyway, if you like the story, hit the like button. If you want to hear more of them, drop a comment, let me know. I don't know if you want to hear this stuff or not. I think I've got a couple more that I can come up with. I know I've got one that I kind of wanted to tell for a while, but I'm just not quite sure how to tell it yet, or maybe even if I even should. Um, so if you want to hear more of these stories kind of mixed in here from time to time, leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, if I get a few comments saying you want to hear more, I'll make some more. Alrighty, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time on Failure at Retirement. Have a nice day.